Hello, fan fans, and we're going to take a look at the uh, Top Power Nanotech Fan Top Dash Fan Dash 12 NB. I think this is the last lit fan that I've got right now. It is. Uh, it uses blue LEDs. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right. So first of all, I want to point out that this hat has a removable impeller, um, and you can watch my. Uh, video about whether removable impellers are a good or bad thing and there's really nothing remarkable it's a three pin connector and that's uh, I mean aside from the removable impeller there aren't a lot of fans that have that it does come with instructions and uh, specifications it also comes with an adapter so you can connect it to your power supply if you'd like in fact you could connect it to the motherboard and daisy chain it using that because that's male and female uh, you could also connect this to the power supply and then connect this to the uh, a fan and then other fans could be daisy chained onto this there i'm sure you're curious about the lighting so it's fairly standard Yeah. So that's that. Now, as far as the noise, let's let me get this down to minimum speed, and we will see what happens. Oh no! Ooh, that's pretty slow almost slow enough for my eyes to follow an individual blade but not quite all right very very quiet although i do hear a bit of rubbing in the bearings and that rubbing noise is getting more pronounced as i uh, increase the speed I am catching what may be harmonic resonances, but they're very brief as I'm moving through their RPMs. I guess I embarrassed the fan because since I said that, I didn't hear any more. <laughs> and this is very quiet, so once it's in the case, you're not going to hear it. As far as static pressure, though, it's got virtually no static pressure, so this can only really function as a um, an exhaust fan in a case. I would say, like, maybe 0.2 millimeters of static pressure, unfortunately. Can you do me a favor? Please like, subscribe, and share to help me. With my channel it only take you a few seconds and it, if you want to commenting would be even better all right so let's take a look at the specs the top power <laughs> nanotech fan or top dash fan dash 12 nb is a um third well it's really about a 13 dollar fan Certified ROHS, Underwriter Laboratories, T TUV, and two Asian certifications, which are recyclable <laughs> plastic and paper certifications. Ma um, made in China, but assembled in America. So that's kind of interesting. 120 by 25 millimeters, 120,000 hours at least. That, that's the minimum um, that they claim five-year warranty 
Four blue LEDs, 90 grams, seven bl uh, blades, 105 millimeters between the mounting holes, only a 1,000 RPMs, 43.88 CFMs, 0.2 millimeters of water, approximately for static pressure, 14.1 decibels, 61.5 centimeter uh, fan cable, no daisy chaining or sleeving. However, it has a three pin DC connector plus Oh wait, it does, it does have chaining, I forgot to change that, sorry. It has a Molex D male, um, male and female connector, so you can daisy chain it. Uh, it has nanotech bearings, 12 volts, 2.4 watts, 0.2 amps. It has indicators for direction of rotation and flow, turns in a clockwise direction, comes with four fan bolts, and a three pin to Molex D 13 centimeter adapter, plus it has a removable impeller. Hello, thanks for watching my video and I need to ask for your help. Um, so my financial situation has become very uncertain with my employer and also with the workers comp case I have from an injury I had at work uh, last year in 2023 uh, for which I'm currently suing the workers comp company. I really don't know what's going to happen in the next few months, but in I, if you can find it within your ability without screwing yourself up to uh, help me out, you have two options. Um, one of those is which is to just go to my channel, Glenn's Fast Reviews, and uh, make a one-time donation there. Or if you would want to do a re uh, repeating donation, a monthly donation, you can go to patreon.com slash... Um, <coughs> so, slash... G L E N N M I I. That's G as in Glenn, L E N as in Nancy, N as in Nancy, M as in Mary, I I. No, not I I, but I I, right? And uh, there are various choices for you to uh, sign up for. Um, if you <coughs> cannot afford the lowest um, option that I have put up there. Let me know and I will put in a lower option that can work for other people. Um, also, I want to say thank you to my very first Patreon, Rudik uh, from Australia, who has been very kind enough to uh, support me and even said if I can't afford the postage to send the gifts that he has uh, become eligible for, that's okay. Um, I will certainly try to do that anyways. Um, and uh, it, it means a lot uh, because not only did you um, choose to financially support me, but you've also been supportive in some of your in some comments on my, some of my videos, and I think that's absolutely fantastic. So um, yeah, if there are any questions, please put them in the comments and uh, you here or on Patreon, and uh, I will try to get back to as quickly as possible. Sometimes I don't see comments right away because of the way YouTube works. And, uh, oh, by the way, um, thank you to Bleeping Computer, and it's the owner of Bleeping Computer who goes by the name of Grindler online on, uh, on his uh, website for allowing me to use his platform to promote my channel, uh, the PC Expert Amateur. And uh, I appreciate it very much. And you sh if you need help with, uh, say, malware or technical problems with your computer, the uh, bleeping computer volunteers are a good bunch of people who have a, a great deal of knowledge about a lot of different kinds of problems with computers um, and with mal there is a dedicated volunteer <coughs> malware removal team there sorry and we'll be happy to help you and you can just go to bleepingcomputer.com and click on the forums. There's also lots of uh, great news about cybersecurity, about hackers and stuff like that.